How you doing? I'm Jimmy McDougal, but I used to be Jimmy Falcone, a respected New York businessman in the gangster and gangster-related industries. Then I whacked my boss and ratted out everyone I knew to save my uncle's life. Now, ratting out the mob is not as glamorous as you think. Before the trial, they stick you in a federal safe house on an army base so no one can get to you. But that doesn't mean they don't try. Jimmy, you killed the dawn. A simple apology ain't gonna cut it. Hey! I offered to do the eulogy. I wasn't the one who said that's in bad taste. It was the family consigliere. His coming to see me could only mean danger, but it was still nice to have a visitor. You know, Jimmy, back in the Roman Empire, and in Godfather too, when somebody messed up the way you just did, they were given a way to provide for their wife and kids for the rest of their lives. All they had to do was kill themselves before the trial. Over my dead body, you son of a bitch! Said with all respect, you a man in your position. Look, Jimmy, I've always liked you. In fact, I went to the mat for you to help your family. Help me help you. Wow, when does the guy who doesn't like me get here? Listen, it'll be very embarrassing for me to go back and say you won't honor this request. If you don't do this, I will dedicate my life to hunting you down. You and your family will never know a moment's peace the rest of your days. How about the nights? Can we get the nights off? It was the hardest decision I ever had to make. All right. I'll do it. Pass it over. Turns out, it was an easier decision than I thought. So, here I am with my wife and kids alive and well in vagina... Regina! Saskatchewan. But if you don't think that's pretty much the same as being dead, forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped him, they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Jimmy Falcone has done it. He has won the Masters. He wears the green jacket. He wishes it was a blue jacket to offset his eyes, but whatever. Let's hear from the champion. I knew that if there was a day without snow, that I could win this. I did it for my wife, Cookie. Cookie! Cookie! Breakfast is ready. What's your problem? The sun's shining, temperatures above zero? You know that ain't gonna last. I'm off to the food court at the mall to hang out, but not eat. You are not going out dressed like that, young lady. There's a reason they call you privates privates. Fine! God! I'll be at the Science Center. They have a new exhibit on nanotubes. Petey, what did I tell you about hanging around those kinds of places? Don't ask, don't tell. I'll be home in time for dinner. I'm not making dinner, and don't be late! You okay, Cook? Like you care! All right, Jimmy. I dusted off the clubs. I've been working on my swing. Get a load of this. Who's handicapped now, you son of a bitch? Save it for the course, Cheech. Tea time's in 20, and no way I'm gonna be late. Oh, sure, go have your fun. I'll just stay here and do what I did yesterday, and the day before, and the day before that. Nothing. All right, well, try to find some time for yourself. Don't you get it? I'm bored out of my mind. I can't talk to my friends, my sister. There's no good shopping. I'm going crazy here. Well, you gotta do something. Find a hobby, like I got golf, or get a job. One of those will shut you up. But what am I supposed to do? I ain't worked since we got married. What about back when we was kids that summer in Atlantic City? You had a job then, and you were very respected in the community. You mean a fortune teller's assistant? Yeah. Working for Madam Scamia. Oh, I love that job. That cute little kiosk on the boardwalk, all those scarves you got to wear, talking European, not having to shave. <laughs> those were good times. So why don't we open your own shop here in Vagina? Oh, I couldn't. I don't have the gift. Madam Scamia, she had the gift. She could see things years into the future. She was a special, special lady with a God-given talent. We could fake it. I could do that. Then it's settled. We'll dip into the nest egg, find you a nice place, and get you all set up. But first, 
I ain't missing this gorgeous weather. Come on, Cheech, let's hit the links. You know what, baby? Your needs come first. Okay, Teresa, you're at reception, you distract the clients. Gina, you pick their pockets and get their info. Cheech is on sound, Jimmy, your lights and smoke machine. All right, let's do a practice run. Teresa, you be the customer. Hello, I'm the customer. I would like to know my fortune. Madam Cookie will tell you what she sees. Please, sit. Testing. Testing. I am the ghost of the dead person that you know. Not yet, Cheech. Just the mood music to start. And don't say testing. <coughs> Down a notch on the smoke machine, Jimmy. Her name is Teresa McDougal. Your name is Teresa McDougal. She lives at 1234 Jim Carrey Lane. You live at 1234 Jim Carrey Lane. She is 25 years of age. You're 25. What? 25? <gasps> Gina, you weren't supposed to pick my fake ID. Mom's gonna kill me now. No, I'm not. I can appreciate a good fake ID. I went to my first bar when I was seven. Okay, everyone, clients will be coming soon. Teresa, show a little more cleavage. Jimmy, thank you so much for this. I'm so happy. I feel like I was born to do this. Hey, my money's gone. Gina, you stole my money. Ma told me to. No, sweetie, you misunderstood. Get their information, not their money. We're running a legitimate scam here. Can you believe it? I thought she was totally gonna read me out about my fake ID. Yeah, and I thought she was gonna make me give you back your money. I know, right? Wait, hey! Oh, girls, where are my magical assistants? Just look at it, Cheech. I ain't seen Cookie this happy since that summer she was on Prozac. I know what you're up to, gentlemen, and I shan't allow it. The good citizens of Saskatchewan deserve better than to be taken in by your flim-flam confidence games. Hey, this is a legitimate business. Why, you don't believe in the supernatural? You want to know what I believe, Jimmy? I'll tell you what I believe. I believe in a Canada true north, strong and free, universal health care, the metric system, the letter Z, that Saturday night was made for hockey. I believe Keanu Reeves is highly underrated. I believe if I were a woman and I didn't have the ability to wrap my legs around my neck, I would never take my boyfriend to see Cirque du Soleil. I believe in football with three downs, two fours of beer and maple syrup. And I believe that Rush is the single greatest band of all time. Uh, so we can stay open? I believe we're about to find out. You can try to distract me all you want, Teresa, but until you reach legal age, I see only your face. Nice eyes. Bad me, bad. You'd better not be trying to pick my pocket, young Gina. When I grow up, I want to be a Mountie just like you. You and 30 million other Canadians. Oh, Special Agent McCool, my very first customer. You look so dapper today. Oh, that doesn't make you psychic, Cookie. It only makes you observant. No, you look good enough to eat. I'd love to put you on a cracker. Or a cookie. Oh. <laughs> Take it easy, you big idiot. I'm just buttering up the customer. Let's cut to the chase, Cookie. Stop that. We'll have none of that cheesy light and sound show here, thank you. All right, Madam Cookie, it's just you and me now. Dazzle me. I see... I see... red? Your favorite color is red? I, I, I see leaves, uh, oak leaves, green leaves, a maple leaf. You're very patriotic. Just as I thought. You're a fake, a phony, a fraud. You'll leave me no choice but to shut you down. No, 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 I can do this. Uh, you're having lunch. The menu is in a foreign language you don't understand. Uh, the milk in your tea is sour. A uh, baby cries. A uh, waiter drops a tray. There's a mouse tail in your soup. Uh, a homely woman in a blue dress asks you for change. That's so general it can apply to anyone. Not the standard Mandarin dialect that I studied in college. 
The milk for your tea is sour. Oh, I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Baby cries. The waiter drops a tray. A mouse tail in my soup! Impossible! You got change for a five? I can't wait to tell Cookie how he snowed that fed. Yeah. How stupid did he look? If only she could have been there. She loves a good short con more than anyone. Jimmy, you won't believe it. McCool told me all my predictions came true. I have the gift. I actually have the gift. Just like Madame Scamia. She always said I would, but I never thought I did. But I do. I have the gift. What? You think you have the gift? Word's already spreading. I'm booked solid for a week. This is terrible. What are you talking about? She has the gift. No, she doesn't. She just thinks she does because of what we did. Now we gotta keep making her predictions come true. Jeez, Jimmy, that's gonna take up a lot of time. I know, but look how happy she is. Shh! I'm getting something. Pluto will be a planet again. Okay, Jimmy. Let's get to work. So, if we all just keep making her think she has the gift, Everything will be beautiful. But that's deceitful. A white lie is still a lie. Don't you get it? When your mother's happy, we all get to be happy. So we gotta do whatever it takes to keep her this way. No kidding. I swore this morning and she didn't say a f thing. Hey, Cook. Tell us about work. What kind of predictions did you make? And to whom, specifically? Oh, I can't say. Psychic client confidentiality and all that. Oh, what the hell. I told Mrs. Campbell she'd find $10 inside a new sofa. I told Mr. Peterson he'd have a scooter accident. I told Mr. Chan his son will set a new record at his hockey game. I told old lady Johnson she'll get pregnant. I got this one, Jimmy. Nothing like a nice, relaxing game of golf after a long day of bullshitting your wife. Hey, how'd you get all this time off work anyway? I found a sub. Okay, legs shoulder width apart, slight bend at the knees. You know, Cheech, it's funny. They took away my identity, they took away my livelihood, they took away everything that made me me. But the one thing they couldn't take was this game and my love for it. Mother f c sucking! You're right, Jimmy. This is relaxing. You'll win a raffle, you'll be attacked by a goose, you'll break your leg in a freak fondue accident, you never ride a tandem bicycle. Come on, people, give me a challenge here! She was really good. Wanna come over for some fondue? Sure, we'll take my bike. It's built for two. I appreciate your seeing me on such short notice, Madam Cookie. I was hoping you could help me solve a case. I never thought I'd say these words, but I can't do it. Really? Because I picture you doing it all the time. <laughs> it seems there's been a rash of convenience store robberies, and I have yet to be able to gain a description of a suspect. The only lead I have is this handkerchief. Give me a hand. Don't you need to hold the handkerchief? Shush, 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 shush. We don't have time for this. Ever. But anything you could tell me would be greatly appreciated. Of course. Let's begin. Yes, yes. I see someone, a, a man, a middle-aged man, white, slight build, dark eyes, dark short hair, and a mustache. Madam Cookie has spoken. Thank you, Madam Cookie. You've been a great help. All right, boys, we're looking for Hitler. For Canada! And Mounties shouting in unison! No. Oh. 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 Okay, now you do me. Get a load of this! Zero chance of snow! Zero! From the top of 5,000, no less! And I read it on the internet, so you know it's true! Let's go! Uh, I don't know, Jimmy. I'm looking at my itinerary. I got Wheel of Fortune at 10, Andy of Mayberry at 10.30, and scratching my nuts at 11. No, we gotta go now. It could snow any second. But the Doppler said it won't. I can't take the chance. If I don't get some golf in soon, I'm gonna go crazy. 
All I do anymore is run around town making my wife think she's a psychic. I need this! Good news, Jimmy. I scratched my nuts while you were choking me. I'm good to go. Hold it! Nobody move! I had a dream. Not like Petey's, I hope. Oh, English, oh, math, oh, science! Oh, oh, oh! In the dream, we were at a carnival, and the Grim Reaper shot at us seven times! It means seven attempts will be made on one of our lives! If anyone leaves this house today, they'll be in mortal danger! Come on, Cook. Dreams don't mean nothing. I had a dream once that the toilet turned into a dragon. I still sit on a john every morning. Ma, I can't stay home all day. Me either! I got a thing and a thing. I can't say more. Mother, dreams are simply manifestations of our unconscious desires. Freud says that our conscious mind keeps our primal subconscious wants and needs suppressed. Dreams merely represent the repressed urges released when we sleep. Freud also said you want to do your mom. Do you want to do your mom, Petey? Is that what you want? Do you want to do your mom? Uh... There's no good answer, so shut up! This ain't any of that science mumbo-jumbo. This is fact! I got the gift, I had the dream, and you don't mess with the spirits! So no one sets foot outside this house today. Madam Cookie has spoken. I had a dream about me, you, and your sister. We never did that one. Well, Pops, you can't keep us locked up in here. It's child abuse. We got stuff to do. Look, we all agreed to do this to make your mother happy. Sure, for a day or two. But I don't want to make my mother happy for any longer than that. Come on. It'd break her heart to find out she's not a real psychic at this point. But you don't understand. I'm supposed to meet the cutest guy at the library. Where we will read our brains out. And I'm supposed to go to the Regina Comic Con with Billy Allison. It's the first year they'll have two people. And I gotta do this thing. That kid's not gonna break his own legs. Oh, you think I like this any more than you? I wanted to golf today. But if I can sacrifice what I want, you can too, all right? I said, all right? Yes. Fine. Good. I'm going back to bed. Like I'm gonna miss golf because of some stupid dream. <gasps> Careful, Jimmy. You could have killed yourself on that thing. What are you waiting for, Jimmy? Just savoring the moment, Cheech. Just savoring. Okay, legs shoulder width apart. Slight bend at the knees. Check the backswing. And... Oh! You okay? You want to take a break? No, I'll play through. Just take the penalty. No, I can make this. You want a break now? I'll play through. I'll play through. I'll play through! I'm playing through! Hey, look at that. A little Australian boy. Sorry, mate. I need ya. Hey, Jimmy. I'm starting to think Cookie's dream may have been about you. I'm playing! God damn it! Okay. Legs shoulder width apart. Slight bend at the knees. Check the backswing and. So worth it. And where do you think you're going, young lady? Out. I don't think so. Are you trying to get yourself killed? Did you not hear a word I said earlier? I know, the dream, I'll die, blah, blah, blah. But Mom, I have to go, he's so cute. And he's a goalie. We met when I was fixing the hockey game. He's really good with his hands. What? We just kissed, I swear. Okay, he may have touched my boobs a little. Okay, a lot. What's third base called in hockey? You fixed the hockey game? I had to. Daddy said we had to make your predictions come true. <gasps> oh, my God. I wasn't supposed to say that. Oh, well, the cat's out of the bag. Bye. Petey, is this true? I am not going to lie to you, Mother. It is. You fixed my predictions? Every single one of them? 
Not me. It was Dad's thing. I didn't want any part of it. A lie is a lie is a lie. Are you trying to tell me that your father was sneaking around all over town this entire time, making every one of my predictions come true? Why would a person do that? Believe it or not, he thought it would make you happy. Well, you know what? It did. i never been so happy in my whole life. And what's wrong with you <gasps> that you wouldn't? What, you're too good to lie to your mother? Uh... Get out of here. I can't stand a look at you. And you better think long and hard about your morals, mister. I can't believe that big palooka went to all that trouble just for me. That lying, conniving, manipulative sack of sh I married an angel. Jimmy, sweetie! I'm coming to talk to you! I know what you did, Jimmy. I've been here the whole time, I swear! I know you fixed my predictions. What are you talking about? You went behind my back, you deceived me, you made our children deceive me, you played me for a fool. It's the sweetest thing anyone has ever done for me. You fucking kidding me? On the outside, you may be tough gangster, Jimmy Falcone, but underneath all that macho and beef and provolone, you're just a big old teddy bear. And I don't need the gift to tell me that. So I'm gonna close the shop. After thinking I had the gift, I could never go back to faking it again. But Cookie, that's the thing. It turns out you do have the gift. That's sweet, but you can stop now. No, I'm serious. You have the gift. For real. Stop it, Jimmy. It's over. I ain't lying. Every single one of your predictions came true. Sure, we rigged a bunch of them, but they still came true. They all came true. Give it a rest, will ya? You tried to con me. It was sweet, but you're pushing it. I'm not an idiot. Cookie, I'm telling you. Now you're just pissing me off. One more word and I will cut you, you guinea bastard. Well, look at that. They made Pluto a planet again. How you doing? You know me as the card-carrying ex-capo from the New York mob. Let the record show, I'm also a hopeless romantic. I met my wife the same way as a lot of people, at work. See, Bobby Peltz was behind on his protection money, so we went over there to discuss payment options. I never let emotions get in the way of my job. Until that night. She was the classiest broad I ever laid eyes on. The face of an angel and a killer butt. I mean that figurally and literally. From that moment, I was head over here. I quartered her through the arraignment, trial, and sentence. And on visiting day, she agreed to be my wife. Yes! Yes! Now that we're in chilly vagina, we still know how to keep it hot. Wait a sec. How'd you sneak the engagement ring into prison? He stuck it up his wazoo. Oh! What? It was romantic. And kind of hot. The ring, I mean. On account of it having been crammed so far up his... <laughs> <laughs> ah, Cook, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Aw, remember our wedding day? You look so handsome, strangling the DJ. Happiest day of my life. What about when we had the kids? That's the day happiness died. Thank God we sent him to... Where'd we send him? Summer camp. You know, to get in touch with nature and crap. I'd like to get in touch with your nature, if you know what I mean. <gasps> what the hell is this? You keep an album of your stinking goomahs with the family photos? Cookie, I can explain! Actually, I got no idea how this got here. Oh, you guys found my memory journal. <laughs> yeah. Those were the days, huh, Jimmy? You remember them two broads? Twins, Jimmy. Double your fun. And their Suki blows good. And I still don't think that was a real name. Jimmy, I know floozies on the side were part of the old life. But I don't need them shoved in my face. And here's Patty Pontoons. Boy, did she ever have big feet. 
Good night, Jimmy. Uh-oh. You made her quiet angry. The kind where you think she forgot. And then, bam, your nuts are in a vice. Baby, wait! These memories ain't even mine! I don't know what you did, Jimmy. But, uh, think next time. Okay. I'm confused. Where's the spa at this crummy freaking resort? There is no spa at summer camp, Counselor McDougal. Counselor? But I've never even been to law school. I object. Okay, to review our whistle signals. <whistles> Means rabid cougar. <whistles> Means escaped maniac with a chainsaw. <gasps> Now, who's ready for a hike through Cougar Canyon to the abandoned mental hospital? We're all gonna die. Could you kids take off your boots so my ride's not so bumpy? All right, time for some real fun. You hungry? How about a shish kebab? <laughs> You missed! No, I didn't. The raccoon's kids were in there. <laughs> nice shot. Name's Carmine. Gina, what's a wise guy like you doing out here in the weeds? Two months for pissing off a juvie judge back home. I guess you can't escape from the wilderness. You're telling me. This place blows. So, let's mug someone. Screw that. Let's mug everyone! <laughs> Good. After screwing up my weekend, you should move out. No, oh, I booked you and Cookie a romantic getaway. Spared no expense. Got you lots of points on your credit card, for which you are welcome. That's not gonna work. She's so mad, she's selling a wedding dress on eBay. Look, I've been married six times. I know women. Take her to this place in the country. Make her feel special. She'll melt like butter. <laughs> hey, remember Butter Picaro? Nothing melted in her mouth, huh? Cook, I'm sorry. Let me make it right and take you away for the weekend. Why don't you take one of your bimbos? Maybe Butter Picaro's available. Oh, Butter was always available. Jimmy knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, shut up, Cheech. Look, I just... How you idiots forgot that? <laughs> da! Da! Means hornet's nest surrounded by poison ivy. What? I said it's a loony for number one and a deuce for a deuce. Or five bucks for both. Yo, Carmine, give me a sec. I gotta go make fun of my brother. Hmm. <laughs> Only you can come to summer camp and catch the leprosy. Gina, what's that boy's name? What are you, a cop? It's Carmine. <gasps> I think that's Carmine Gambini. As in his father was Dawn Gambini? As in dad killed him, Gambini, and that's why we're in witness protection, Gambini? You been drinking from the rusty fountain? Cause that's two bucks. I'm telling you, that's him. We were at his christening. I christened thee Carmine. <clears throat> Come on, just cause he's from New York and his pop worked in sanitation and fell from the 19th floor window. Oh my God, how did I not see this? You have to stay away from him. What if you let it slip that Pop killed his father? I don't let things slip. What am I, a cheech? You can't go near Carmine, okay? Stay away from him, he's trouble. Carmine equals trouble. Petey, if you're on your period, be careful. There's bears out here. Dinner at five, dress code in effect. Enjoy your stay. Hear that? A dress code. Only the best for my cookie. Don't pin your hopes on any undress code when we get upstairs. Uh. You were informed of the dress code, were you not, sir? Of course I was. What are you, blind? You believe this prick? I guess he just knows a sleaze bag when he sees one, Jimmy. Can we stop? Let's not mess this up by being mad about the past. Let's just enjoy tonight. What do you say, baby? <gasps> oh, you sick motherfucker! I am amazed at 
with the size of your freaking balls. Thank you. To bring me to a swingers party. I had no idea, I swear. Come on, we're getting out of here. Oh, no, we're not. You want to swing? You got it. I'm going to powder my nose. Try not to get anyone pregnant. And order me the tube steak. <clears throat> Cheech residents. You humongous idiot. Hey, Jimmy, how's the weekend? How the hell did you find this pervert parade? Ad in a magazine, where else? What did the ad say? Uh, couples only, like you two. What else? Loving environment? Again, tailor-made for you crazy kids. Okay, did you read the top of the ad? Uh, yeah. Midsummer bang palooza So you two all made up? Hello? The other counselors are gonna feel pretty stupid at their makeout party when they realize they forgot dish duty. <sighs> I'm so lonely. <gasps> oh, hey, Camper. I heard you talking about me to Gina. Oh. oh. Wanna hear a joke? Knock, knock. Who, who's there? Orange. Orange who? Aren't you lucky this ain't a bag full of hammers? Ow! I'm sorry! I'm sorry about your dad! What about my dad? You know how my dad killed your dad? That's why you're beating me, right? No, I'm beating you because you told your sister not to hang out with me. So, this isn't about your father? Well, it is now. Some snacks for the makeout party. <gasps> Ew, is that pee? Some of it is. Ahem. <clears throat> Your lack of nudity is making the other patrons uncomfortable. Well, we wouldn't want that, would we? I can be just as adventurous as your little New York skanks. I'm going to the SM grotto to spank me an accountant. That's it. I'm calling McCool. Special Agent Straight McCool. McCool? <gasps> Please, tell me you're here to watch us. <laughs> Only if that's what you're into. Oh, God, don't come over. Well, I was nervous my first time here as well. You can always use the safe word, kumquat. Last year it was harder, which we really should have thought through. Isn't this stuff illegal? Cause it ought to be. Not at all. Swinging is perfectly legal, consensual, and, quite frankly, beautiful. Beautiful? There's a skid mark on this chair. Don't panic, Jimmy. You're free to walk out at any time. Though I recommend staying for Randy Mouthfeel, the erotic hypnotist. Oh, the things he makes people do. There's Cookie. I'll go say hello. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You thought taking me to the Royal Pork Hotel would make up for that photographic walk down Mamory Lane? There's nothing to make up for! That was the old life! Well, the old life was a two-time in scumbag! You know, I never heard you complain about it when you were sitting pretty in Brooklyn with a big house, fancy cars, and piles of money. How dare you! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> well, looky here. You folks done blew yourself a foursome. There's a whole lot of that going around tonight. Hop on in. We'll run you to the gas station. So you can introduce us to Cousin Leatherface? Forget it. We'll just stroll back to the hotel for some kinky karaoke. A natural born stool pigeons. He beat it out of me. Then he got angry. Quiet angry. The most dangerous angry of all. You think they forgot? Then BAM! It's sunny at the toll booth. What's nice weather at a toll booth got to do with anger? You never saw the Godfather, did you? No! 
It's one of the many things I'll never get to do after Carmine rats us out to the mob. I'm too young to die. I'll never know true love or learn advanced Klingon. You know there's a connection there. Leave this to me. We'll have an old-fashioned sit-down. Oh, thank God. That's for squealing. Go! And that's for never seeing the Godfather. Hey, this ain't no gas station. Ah. <laughs> now it is. <laughs> 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 What the hell's going on here? Well, chubby man and red lady, these here are my brother, cousin, father, sons. So, it's a deliverance reunion. Cookie, in these situations, scatterguns trump wisecracks. Let me handle this. What do you want? Cash? Credit cards? Our skin to make a suit? We're from a tight-knit community in the black prairies of northern Saskatchewan. And y'all mm. got something we need. You ain't getting nothing from me, Hills Have Eyes. Yeah, you stay away from my wife. I'll go bang a whore. I'm still mad at you. Oh, shucks, ma'am. I don't know what you're thinking, but we don't want nothing from you. We want your brother. He's my husband. Well, excuse us, Mrs. Highfalutin. Look at me. My husband ain't my brother. I ain't got no blood disorder. My head's a regular shape. whoop a dee doo Shut up, will ya? Uh, boys, just show them we mean business. Ow! Easy, Mick. You're too excited. Well, feller, you can either help us out or you can eat a buckshot salad. I never thought I'd say these words to a gang of horny hillbillies, but please be gentle. Hang on, hang on. You idiots drove all the way from the Black Prairies to get it on with this sack of crap? Hey. What? No, ma'am. You see, as of late, we noticed something real wrong with our youngins. We reckon there's been too many cousins and siblings and whatnot making babies. <laughs> and bottom line is, our chitlins ain't right. <laughs> Stands to reason we need a new swimmer in the old gene pool. I don't think you hoot nannies understand how this works. I can't birth no babies. We know. We ain't stupid. Ours is a matriarchal society, and the women folk demand to be babyfied forthwith. Now, the standards of beauty in the Black Prairies might not be what y'all are used to. I love it. After years of hot stripper body bimbos, you're gonna have to bump uglies with a bunch of barnyard fuglies. Ha! <whistles> All right, ladies, he's ready. Come on in. Close your fing mouth, Jimmy. Having a sit down in a boat was a good idea, because you're not allowed to stand. Safety first. So, you know who we are. And you know what I gotta do. And you know what I gotta do about what you gotta do. And you know what I gotta do about what you gotta do about what I gotta. Oh, Jesus, sit downs are boring. Wanna fight? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> 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 I better intervene and call an adult. Gop, gop! Gop, He's more chicken than I am. <laughs> Three full whistles and two semis means stop fighting! Come on, you guys! I know they ain't pretty. Just close your eyes and think of something sexy, like a sibling or barnyard animal. It'll all be over before you can say webbed feet. Find yourself another stud, Toothless. Uh, Jimmy? You're gonna get us both killed. I'm giving you permission. For the record, ma'am, we'll only hurt him. You will integrate into our community. Come on, you've done it a thousand times with Cheech and your crew. Wait, you know what I mean. Sorry, ain't happening. Oh, I see. Big stomach Jimmy's gotta prove a point. 
You're gonna feel real superior when they turn your skeleton into a side table! <sighs> now, now, ladies, be patient. We've been outmaneuvered in this round of the chess game of reproduction. So, you gonna let us go? No, ma'am. We're gonna have to resort to science. Bring in the doodad! <laughs> 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 Do that don't sound good. Oh, it don't feel good neither. <laughs> you gonna... Ow! <laughs> Stop it, you two! You can't settle an old mafia vendetta with violence! Ow! I like you, but I can't trust you not to rat us out. Wait, do you like like me? Shut up! Why would I rat you out? I hate the mob. Yeah, right. And I'm gonna be prom queen. I mean it. When your pop killed my old man, the mob left us high and dry. <laughs> That's the mob for ya. <laughs> Wait a minute, what am I doing? He's six years old! I can totally take him! Gina, tag out! Ouch! Oof! Bad idea! Terrible idea! Gina, tag me out! Look, the mob screwed me. I'd never help those jerks. But but I gotta avenge my old man. I know, but you're not touching my old man. He's a kafal, but he's all right. Fine, but somebody's gotta die. Not Petey. Too easy. That would just make me sad. How about my uncle? Technically, he's the reason for all of this. You don't got a problem with me coming after... Cheech? Nah. But I'm not gonna hand him to you on a platter. You gotta earn it. Of course. There's no free lunch. If you can find out where the feds put us, be my guest. But is it worth all that trouble? It is if I get to see you again. Hey, keep it down! We got people trying to make out in here. Okay, I'm just gonna come right out and ask, what the hell is making out exactly? Don't look at me. I don't know what those f***ing animals do in there. This here's the suck nozzle. The claw's painful, but essential. Where the hell'd you get that thing, anyway? eBay. I'm also been on a nice wedding dress from Jimmy Eats Ball 69. Jimmy, don't put yourself through this. Just nail those broads, will ya? Do it for me! No, cook! I never cheated on you, and I ain't about to start now. If it means my bourgeois gets chewed up by that thing, so be it. For Christ's sake, cut the act! It's no act! All the broads back home are for show. Part of my job is capo. I take them to dinner and drop them off after. No messing. Really? Since the day we met, Cook, it's only been you. Oh, Jimmy. All right. Let's do this. Wait! I got a better idea. Step right in, ladies, and don't forget to sign up for Kinky Karaoke. Sorry, gentlemen, the swinging community has a strict no unaccompanied men policy. Oh, I wanted to see the sex restaurant. For Canada, a country so freaky, our national animal is the beaver. We still got a room here. Want to hit the sheets? <laughs> nah, let's steal a car and go home. I hate the fucking country. How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone, former good fella currently freezing his ass off in Canada. Back in the old life, I never saw snow. And I don't mean drugs. I delegated that to Big Blow Bellucci. I'm talking real snow. Jimmy complained about the cold. I want you guys to make it summer around here. Thought it was calling for a huge snowstorm. Not that I'm complaining. Ah. It worked. From now on, it's gonna be summer all the time. Except Christmas. I like a white Christmas, but warm. Capiche? I love New York in November. I look dolphin. Palm trees in New York? 
If global warming means the end of the world, so be it. Hey, Rocco, that counts as a break. Now I live in Regina, where global warming ain't hit yet. It snows all the freaking time here. I mean, it never stops. Don't worry, Jimmy. I got your back. Cheech, what the hell are you doing? There's too many snowflakes. I can't get them all. Tell them all I went down fighting. If you think I can even remember what summer feels like, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the couple with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. You two-timing son of a bitch! What's her name? I don't know what you're talking about! What? <coughs> hey! Oh, you've been working out? Oh. Uh. Say hello to the devil when you meet him, you two-timing greaseball! <gasps> I just took the last soda! What? Ah. Jimmy, Cookie, for God's sake, the entire neighborhood can hear this hullabaloo. Jimmy's cheating on me, McCool. Let me shoot him. Cookie, I surveil Jimmy regularly, and I can assure you he's doing nothing of the sort. Though he did glance at a copy of Jug Lover's Quarterly at the gas station. Shame, shame. The feds won't forward my subscription. Don't you see? Cookie's busy with the kids, you're busy with your job. When's the last time you two spent some quality time together? Does drunk angry sex at 3 a.m. count as quality? It barely even counts as sex. Heed my words. Quality time is the key to a happy marriage. This from a bachelor whose best friend is a fucking horse. Cook, why would you think I'm cheating on you? Because you snuck out last night. I would have chased you, but the ambient was kicking in. I swear on the soul of my mother, that wasn't me. Then who was it? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Want to grill the kids? I'll get the waterboard. No, we got to catch them in the act. Like when Gina stole money from my wallet. She won't be doing that again. Look at you slaving away. How much is Dad paying you for this? Five bucks. Five bucks? You're getting screwed by the man. He's inside, nice and warm, and you're out here freezing your ass off for no money like a sucker. I like helping out. You're getting exploited. And so are all these other kids. <laughs> Sounds like you're developing a social conscience, Gina. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But I'll tell ya, if anyone's doing any exploiting around here, it's me. So it's Cheech sneaking around. Sorry I punched you in the face, Jimmy. I don't remember that. You were sleeping. That explains the loose tooth. Look at Cheech's clothes. In the old days, he only ever dressed up to pull a job. That knucklehead's gonna get us all in trouble. We better follow him. How are we supposed to do that if he's got the car? I know we're probably following Cheech on some depraved crime spree, but this is fun! This is what McCool was talking about. I got a bicycle seat up my ass. How exactly is this fun? Why didn't you just take Petey's bike? I thought this was Petey's bike. It's worse than we thought. Cheech is going into a crack den. Nah, nobody dresses up for a crack den. It's probably just a whorehouse. We gotta get Cheech out of there before he gets pinched. Let's do this nice and quiet. Ah, screw it. Let's just do it loud and mean. Yeah! Jimmy, what are you doing here? Me? What about you? You sneaking around for a dance class? Why didn't you just tell me? No offense, Jimmy, but I got a life outside of you, you know. This looks like fun. Jimmy, maybe ballroom dancing is just what we need to spend some quality time together. Why not? Beats riding bikes. May I have this dance? No, no, no. You cannot dance together. Your bodies are, how you say, incompatible. You are built like pickle barrel, and you are bag of oatmeal. Hey! You more suited to Juan Carlos. 
Nice to meet you, Juan Carlos. <laughs> oh, someone's a smooth talker. <laughs> you, what's his name? Name is Jimmy. I, Svetenka. Now dance me. Dance me long and hard. Please don't hurt me. So, Gina, what is this union of yours gonna do for us? Suppose you hurt yourself shoveling, huh? Who looks after you? If your shovel breaks, who buys your new one? Our parents? They're the ones who sent you out in minus 20 weather in the first place. Them grown-ups are playing you for stooges. Yeah! I shoveled Mrs. Wilson's place, and she didn't pay! Sign up with the Brotherhood of Snow Shoveling Youth, and she'll definitely pay. They'll all pay. Who's with me? Union! 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 Jackets are mandatory for members. 50 bucks a pop. What? 50 bucks? Gina, are you serious about organized labor, or is this just a cash grab? Don't worry, Petey. The jacket money comes out of wages. You won't even notice. And if I hear any more of that scab talk, I'll cut your fucking eyes out. That was freaking amazing! It was like I was on that show, dancing with the people who used to be stars. With Juan Carlos, I was dancing on a cloud of tacos and vending machine cologne. McCool was right about us spending time together. Except we didn't really spend any time together, because our bodies are, how you say, incompatible. Ah, she don't know what she's talking about. I'll prove it to you. Oh! Jesus, when's the last time we danced? Sorry. No problem. Let me think. Was it at a wedding? Ow! Oops. Nah, I got nabbed for that diamond ring robbery before our first dance, remember? What? Ah! My bad. Did you guys get electrocuted or something? Maybe oh. ballroom dancing ain't our thing. Well, if we can't dance together, there's no point doing it at all. I agree. Ballroom dancing is out. Good call. You look like a couple of seagulls fighting over a french fry. <laughs> Jimmy! Ah! I need you ride me, Jimmy. Ride me right now! Svetanka, no! I'm married! Ride me to dance studio. I am late! Oh, you mean drive you? Sure. You know, every time you talk, it sounds like a come on. It's Svetanka's accent. You know, Jimmy, dancing with you last night made me so wet. Okay, you really should stop talking now. What? You are a sweaty man. I'm in for one dance. I don't think my wife would like that. You know you want to. We keep forbidden dance a secret. Come, Yemi. Again with the sexy talk. Jimmy? Care to tell me what you're doing here? <laughs> you're sneaking around behind my back, ain't ya? What are you flipping out for? I just came in for a quickie with Svetanka. Dance! Quickie dance! I thought we agreed ballroom dancing wasn't for us. Says the broad who's standing in a dance studio. I had to double cheech down here on Petey's bike. I popped in to use the washroom. You know what? Juan Carlos asked me to be his partner for the Golden Bollies. Well, you ain't touching no one else's Golden Bollies. It's a dance contest, you moron. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna enter too. I just need to find me a dance partner. That's right. I'm gonna win them golden balls with Swatanka here. Oh, Jimmy, it is so on. It couldn't be honor. Jimmy, can I get a ride home? Cookie broke Petey's bike. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I got rehearsal. These tap shoes ain't gonna tap themselves. Well, I got rehearsal too, mister. Who's gonna stay home and watch Gina? Gina? She ain't even home. I ain't seen her in days. In that case, dibs on the car! I got no time for this. I gotta pick up sequins for my fancy pants. Wait, I just heard that. Catch you later, sucker! You come back here. Oh, oh man. All this dance is really... <sighs> whipped me into shape. How you doing? I'm Gina. Business agent for Bossy Local One. My comrade here says he performed snow-related labor for you, and you didn't pay. 
What gifts? I didn't know he was doing it. Didn't know? What, are you blind? Legally, yes. Can you see good enough to fish a freaking 50 out of your purse? I'm on a fixed income. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Things are tough all over. Now make with the money. In my day, we didn't... Well, your day's done, Stegosaurus. <whistles> Give it a snow job, boys. You want it cleared? That's another 50 bucks. <laughs> Ow! Ouch! I don't know how those ice dances sew these sequins on. By using a double top stitch. How many times I gotta tell you? I can't focus. Cookie's so competitive about this dance contest, she's driving me crazy! You want me to pull a Tonya Harding, take out a knee? Say the word, she'll never walk again. That's my wife you're talking about! Besides, I'm way ahead of you. I slashed the tires so she can't get to rehearsal. Isn't that your car, Jimmy? Yeah, but it's also her car. That's why you're the boss, Jimmy. Always thinking. Now give me some change for the bus. Uh, I entered this contest to stick it to your father, but he's really giving me a run for my money. You really want to win? You're gonna need an edge. Oh, Teresa Maria Falcone. This is just lewd, crass, and totally hot. Nice work. <laughs> this shouldn't bother me, because I grew up around Italians. But your dance partner is really greasy. He drinks olive oil. Says it keeps him young. He's actually 72. <laughs> oh, I ain't paying you jagoffs to stand around gawking. Get Back to work. Gina, I've been elected shop steward, and as such must tell you, the bossy membership feels they're not getting a fair shake. That's crazy. I'm paying five bucks a house. It's market rate. But you're charging our customers 50. What happens to the other 45? You think them fancy jackets pay for themselves? Teresa bought them, and you still haven't paid her back. I got a, a health and retirement plan to pay for. Them things don't come cheap. You know what else don't come cheap? Us. On behalf of the members of Bossy Local One, I hereby declare a strike. Yay! Just as soon as Brother Oliver has his potty break. Whoa, look at the balls on this room. I suddenly feel inadequate. I, I feel nervous. You nervous, Juan Carlos? <laughs> Do you even speak English? <laughs> Hey, Cook, geez, you look great. Just like one of them old-timey prostitutes. Aw, oh, Jimmy, thanks. Look at you. That costume makes me want to say, Olay. Jimmy, why you talk to old whore? <clears throat> oh, sorry, old whore is kooky. Eh, don't listen to her. I just wanted to wish you luck in the contest. And sorry I saw the heels off your dancing shoes. Thanks, babe. And I'm sorry I put horse laxative in your dinner. When'd you do that? I gotta go! I won! I won! In your fucking face, Jimmy! Way to go, Cheech! Wait, what did he say? Yimmy! We won second place! Uh, hey, get your Chernobyl-licking tongue out of my husband's mouth! Is that what I think it is? It's these pants! They make me look huge! And like I'm pointing up! Listen, slut anchor! You boinking my husband? Da. Oh, da means yes. What's the Ruski word for no? Yet. That's it. I haven't boinked her. Yet. You haven't boinked her yet? <laughs> well, have fun with your Russian floozy, you pig. What's wrong with you? You're gonna get me killed. Oh, you die for me. So romantic. No, I die because of you. You and I got no future, you understand? Forget future. Taste present. Ah. Yeah. Present tastes like vodka and lip gloss. Look. 
Get it through your skull. I ain't interested. Svetenka, no believe you. All right, then I'm gay. Ooh, it's hot. I bring man to bedroom for Yimmy. How about Juan Carlos? <laughs> I watch. Yeah, my answer to that is... Would you guys just get out of here? I don't need this crap. We are not leaving until our demands are met. Fine, let's just settle this thing. You're willing to negotiate? Wow, I thought you'd just hire a bunch of scabs from the hobo jungle. Yeah, I tried that. Didn't turn out so good. It's cold. You want to have sex? So, there it is. I accounted for every day right down to the minute. You tell me, when could I have possibly slept with Svetanka? I know what I saw, Yimmy. Okay, fine. You got me. I've been riding it like a freaking tilt-a-whirl. I knew it! Wait a second. You'd never admit to something like that unless you're lying. And if you're lying, it means you didn't do it. Aw, oh, come here, you big lug. It's official. I will never understand women. <laughs> I vant you, Saint Svetanka, Gabadana Vilianovich. Who was that? <gasps> Is that for me, you big sweetheart? Let's do that right now. Bring the bear. What are you doing out there, you wacko? Never wait. It's time for sexy. <laughs> I told you before, I don't fool around on my wife, ever. Maybe this changed your mind. Oh! Swatanka, for the last time, get out of here! <laughs> and take your two perky friends with you. If Cookie finds out this broad stalking me, she's gonna go ballistic! She'll kill Svetanka, I'll be next, and a couple of the kids might get clipped in the crossfire. It'll be a bloodbath! But surely she won't blame you. You're an innocent victim here. Clearly you've never been married. And don't call me a victim. It makes me sound like a candy ass. Jimmy, don't you see? You're keeping a secret from your wife. That's just as bad as cheating. Again, clearly, you've never been married. Cookie's your partner for life. Are you gonna start with that quality time crap again? Cause that's what got me into this shit show. I know this is highly implausible considering your background, but I think you should tell the truth. You think? All right, today's as good a day to die as any. But just to be safe, I'll take Svetanka into protective custody in the morning. For Canada, where most men would pay to be stalked by hot Russian girls. Where have you been? Seeing McCool. Don't worry, he'll corroborate. Look, you and me gotta talk. What's up? You know Swatanka? Yeah? What about her? She's been stalking me. Here we go. Oh boy, thanks for the crappy advice, McCool. Well, I can't say I blame her. You're not mad? Oh, I'm gonna slice her up later. But I ain't mad at you. You didn't do nothing. What was that? Whoa, this is just like that movie where the crazy stalker broad cooks the rabbit. Oh, God. You, you think she's in the house? Hell, I bet she's right behind us. Yeah. What? I'm making beans. Oh. Won't you budge on anything? Hey, hey, hey. I gave you a 2% wage increase over 10 years, didn't I? What's taking so long? Those kids are still on the picket line. Mary's got frostbite, all of us crying for his blankie, and I don't even know why I'm still there. You know what? Running a union is too much hassle. I'm out! Oh, no, you're not. You have a responsibility to those kids. Don't make me sick the labor board on you. Grow up, Petey. I already paid him off. Speaking of which... What's this? You and Teresa's cut of the money I made off the scam. Count me in! Um, I don't know. I don't think I can... And I just sold out. Hey, Petey broke his cherry!
Is Fetanka can't have Yimmy? No one can. I never understood that about stalkers. You love the guy, so why kill him? It's stupid. So, I kill you first? Did I say stupid? Let me rephrase that. Svetanka, you're never gonna have me, so you might as well just kill us. <gasps> but before you do, can I have one last dance with my wife? Da! One more time you flop around like puppets, then I shoot you. <laughs> you look like circus bear box and kangaroo! <laughs> Now that's what I call dancing. Jimmy, you're a genius. Well, I got my moments. Yeah! Jimmy, look out! Gina, good job. Beat! Why'd you hit Cheech? Yeah, I was on a roll. Pop, you get the quick line, I'll chop her up. See, isn't this nice? We're doing stuff together. It's quality time, just like McCool said. Good news, Jimmy. Svetanka's visa has expired. We can deport. Oh, God, is she dead? Nah, but give us five minutes. Saskatchewan, la 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 la